Hi there! Today I have a process video of my weeks 9 and 10 from 2018. And for this spread I am using the Good Life April Bundle from Pixel Scrapper. And I'm going to start here just by sticking in my papers. I actually put in that one word art up there in that one pocket uh, so that I know that I want to keep that there so I don't put a paper there that has too much going on. And now I'm just arranging my papers. That march I had actually stuck in uh, initially when I put my photos in at the time. Um, and now I'm just going to do a few things with it to try to make it look good. I often forget to put the actual date on these pages and then sometimes we're looking back and wondering what month it is. So I've been trying to do a bit better at actually dating these layouts. Although I will confess to not caring too much myself. <laughs> it is just other people looking at the book who are kind of wondering. So my motivation is maybe not as great as it should be for getting the date in. Now I'm just here on Pixel Scrapper looking for a few more papers to fill out the empty spaces. Still trying with that march to make it fit somewhere. I'm eventually, oh, there I go, I deleted it. And we're going to try again <laughs> with a new style. I at least sometimes like to just put something in in the beginning when I'm putting my photos in so that when it comes around to this point and I'm decorating, I don't forget that it was March. And so that it kind of helps me to remember to put it in. And here I'm just adjusting the layer the layer style for the marsh so that it blends in a bit better with the paper underneath rather than just looking like I plopped it on top. All right now it's time for the fun part sticking on the elements. really struggling to get the month in there. I think this is probably why I do not often put the month in because it is a pain <laughs> to try and get a place that you like it. I should probably come up like with my weekly card there, the week nine, the week 10. I should, I should make one that has a date spot so that I make my life easier. Maybe I'll do that for 2019. Does anybody else struggle getting the actual date on their pages <laughs> doesn't seem like it should be that hard.
quickly making that photo black and white. And with that scallop piece, I do often like to repeat certain elements on both sides of the page just to tie them together. I will usually repeat the papers, but then I also like to maybe use the same scatter or like a few elements that are the same on both. Now I'm just giving it a closer look to see what's missing, see if there are any empty spaces. Coming to the end here. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you do like this video or these kinds of videos, please let me know down below by leaving a comment or liking this video. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!